CataractCoach.com. Needle decompression technique. This is to decompress the bag for intumescent white cataracts. We've shown you some videos in the last couple of weeks where there's a lot of issues with Argentinian flag sign and run out capsular rexis and you got to be able to handle this. And what I like to teach is this, needle decompression. So a pair of these has been done, just the one pair. You can see the young doctor here is having a little bit of a tough time even finding that pair. But there you go, tripan blue dye with a little bit of an air bubble. That's a nice technique too. Let that work on the anterior lens capsule to stain it. Then you can dilute it down if you need to and you can uh, fill the out viscoelastic. Now an intumescent white cataract, remember the lens cortex has liquefied. As a result, there's high pressure in the capsular bag. And when can you notice this? When you put the viscoelastic in through that para. So there's the viscoelastic, touch the lens capsule. Touch it right there and you'll see that it is pressurized. Now get the pressure in the AC relatively high. I like to do the knee, there, see so you touch that capsule, exactly. I like to do the needle decompression now before the main incision. The surgeon's gonna do it after the main incision. Why do I like it before? Because I can maintain a higher pressure in the AC because a tiny pair doesn't leak much. Going in with the needle, bevel down, aspirate, aspirate, and importantly, rock that nucleus, move back and forth a little bit. Very nicely done here. This is a resident operating, and that looks like an attending with a squirt bottle cannula blocking our view half the time. There we go. And so now it's been decompressed quite a bit, and you can see it doesn't want to run out. But the important part was aspirating on that syringe, but also rocking it back and forth, rock that nucleus. Remember, too, don't go with a totally empty syringe. Get the syringe and, and get that 3cc syringe, let's say, and now load it up with a little bit of BSS, 1cc of BSS, and just to have it be able to flow back and forth a little bit. There we go. Now getting this rexus done. Important in this case to get a good-sized rexus. Don't make that baby rexus. This is not the best dilation. So beautiful rexus going on here. I like it. And finishing it up, and you can see there's a lot of good control there. Now, this case did not have a tremendous amount of lens milk, which is great, but you need to know how to do that needle decompression. Now, for hydrodissection, very cautious, because why? You can't see the fluid wave. So just gently, gently hydrodissect. If you notice the lens nucleus coming more anterior, you can tap it back gently. It should spin pretty easily, because remember, all the cortex has been liquefied. Let's see the cataract surgery. I'm going to speed the video up real fast here. Let's just get to it. So here's the FACO probe. Let's see what this young doctor's doing. Cleaning up some lens material there. Chopper going in and kind of a horizontal, no vertical kind of combo chop. Yeah, combo chop, let's call it. And that went through pretty nicely. Bring that around here and then, yeah, like a vertical chop. And nicely done. Getting through those pieces. So vertical chops, remember, you're not hooking the lens equator. You're just kind of aiming down towards the optic nerve area. And so now aspirate these pieces out. Beautiful job. I mean, these days you've got some residents like this who are fantastic doing this level of surgery in their training. Wow, this surgeon's going to be fantastic in a few years. So pieces come down pretty rapidly, rotating that around. And now buzzing again and chop, chop. They're still keeping up with kind of like vertical chop technique here. Very nicely done. Remember, when that last piece comes up, you got to be very cautious. You don't want that posterior capsule to come up towards the phaco probe and hit it. So you can keep that chopper in the safe position here. There you go. Last little uh, fragments that are remaining. It'll probably come out with the IA probe. That one's pretty darn good. This patient's going to be so happy. Remember, white cataracts are like a miracle of modern medicine. Patients have absolutely no vision or really minimal vision. At best, count fingers or hand motion vision. You can give them amazing vision in a surgery just as beautiful as this. Now, don't call these surgeries easy. These are not easy. Don't downplay the work you do. You train for many years. To achieve this level of success is how many years, right? So that's not easy. Whether you can do it fast now or efficiently now is not the issue. The issue is people say, how long does the cataract surgery take? I say, oh, take about five minutes, but 20 years and then five minutes. So there you go, lens going in the capsule bag, beautifully done. Look at that Rexus too. Fantastic outcome here, beautifully done. Remember, if you've got a white cataract coming up, check to see is it in too mess and touch the lens capsule when you feel the viscoelastic. If it's pressurized, try the needle decompression technique. Please leave me a comment below. What are your favorite techniques for in white cataracts?